Yo, what is good, Dev guys? It's your boy here at Mike's from Game from Scratch. No, I'm joking. This is <laughs> this this uses the shit that he be covering. But uh, I seen this and holy moly, I had to go ahead and say something about it and test it out. And I want to do it on the video. Um, but yeah, I know I've been hitting, hitting you guys with a lot of content, but this week I got to try to get myself back into them recommendations. You dig what I'm saying? I, I ain't getting no views. Where y'all at? Like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this with your friends. I know I had to do the clickbait title and everything because we all know that Unity is not touching Unreal, but they are making some strides. Okay, so let's talk about it. They got this Unity gaming services here. It offers multiplayer server hosting, uh, accounts, so that's authentication. We got things like economy, monetization, and if you want more information, just I'll leave a link to this page inside of the, the description of this video because this is a lot of features that they offer in here. The biggest thing is this uh, game server hosting called Multiplay. Uh, there was a big scandal when Epic released their EOS. There was a point in time where Unity didn't want Epic to do it because they already had their own system that they were trying to put, roll out, and this is that system that that unity game services so i'm taking a look at it they got this nice project here this br 200 uh, apparently let me go to the the page in, in unity apparently they're boasting that they got 200 players on a single thread on the uh, on a single core so it says 200 players on a dedicated single core multiplayer server you know how crazy that is 200 players on a single core multiplayer server so 100% accurate lag conversation, 60 hertz servers, uncapped render rate, like they're boasting some crazy tech. And I didn't think that this kind of stuff was, you know, possible with Unity. So is Unity better? Oh my God, what did I do? I should have been patient. No, I'm, I'm joking. But basically they're using this uh, Photon Fusion, which is like the next iteration of Fusion uh, I think it was Photon Bolt was their last iteration, but this is the next iteration of that. Uh, it's supposedly faster, it's supposed to be more optimized, and obviously, we're gonna go ahead and test it. So the first thing I did was download Unity. It took forever, bruh. I don't wanna hear nobody say shit about Unreal and how long it takes to open up a project, cause goddamn, it took me fucking 12 minutes to open up this project. I don't wanna hear nothing, so. We're going to walk through this. I st I'm starting here at the beginning. I just All I did was download Unity. I downloaded this project, and then I imported it into this uh, Unity project here. You call, see, I called it BR200 test. And this is telling me to open up the dashboard because we need this uh, Fusion App ID. And I also went ahead and created a Fusion App ID. All you have to do is create a new app, set it to Fusion, and you, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, so let me get this uh, ID from here. I don't care if you guys take this. I am not going to uh, use this after this video. So have at it. Have at it, you scoundrels. All right, so I'm gonna paste this here. And uh, what else do we need to do? So uh, is there like a save button? There's not like a save button, is there? Do I hit enter? Okay, I just hit enter and that's it. They don't say anything about that. Okay, so we got that. Um, this is telling me to link my project to the Unity services. So let me go to the project settings. And why is this so small? Let me make it full screen. Okay. So I can't, I'm so used to Unreal putting the tabs up here, bruh. Holy moly. Okay. I, I, I guess I'll just make this a full page. So select organization. I'll put it in there and create a project ID. And uh, could not create project. Uh, uh, um, so go to services, general settings. All right. Create a project ID. All right. Now we go. There we go. So now we've linked the project and no to this under 13 thing. So let's save that. And, and we're, I, I think we're good to go. Okay. Yeah. So let's go ahead and minimize this. Can I create project? What is that? Cloud build. Yeah, for me, uh, well, it looks like we created it. So um, uh, I, ain't gonna, I, I think we're good. Okay, so the next step in the documentation was to start the game. So we go to open menu or loader in the scene assets and hit play. It is that simple. That's all you got to do. Word. So we're just going to test this puppy out, see what it's running like. See if it's uh, laggy or whatnot. So 
packages. Uh, let me just see if I can search. What was that? What was that? Assets, TSBR, scenes. Okay. Let me close up these windows. Jesus Christ. We got so much stuff open. TSBR scenes, and we're going to what? Loader or menu. It gave me two options, didn't it? Let me close this. I don't need that anymore. So yeah, open menu or loader. So I'm gonna open up menu. And then we just gonna hit, um, how do we go full screen again? Oh my God, I haven't used this in a minute. I think it's space bar, but I'm gonna hit play here. Oh my God, how long is this gonna take? Okay, it's not bad. I used to like the Unity editor, but now I don't. All right, let's give myself a name. Um, play maximized. And do I gotta restart after that? That's fucking stupid. There we go. Okay, yeah, let's play this puppy uh, maximized. Jesus, can I get that word out? I'm gonna hit play. We're playing as Soldier 66. There's no public games found, so what it looks like is that this is client hosted. Let me go to uh, USA. No public games found. Okay, so disconnected, disconnected by client logic. So I guess I'll create a game. Deathmatch. Uh, we don't have a dedicated server. Or oh, should I check dedicated server? Oh, okay. What the fuck? Why do they have this in the UI? So this looks like it's... Um, like client hosted games. So I, I do want to see what the performance is like. Let me turn down my speakers for shit get crazy. I heard the sound effects. Okay, so I'm looking at the, oh, it's third person. Okay, there's no sprint. All right, where are the bots? It's just me? There's no bots? Okay, we got a crazy amount of lag there. Okay, that's how you switch. Oh God, they, why'd they put the loot on F? Who loots with F? If you loot with F, who are you, you weirdo? So apparently they have network replicated animation. Oh my God, I suck. See, they got some projectile, not projectiles, but like, oh, those do look like projectiles, but who can tell? I think they're just particle effects. Could I get up on these damn lifts here? So it looks like it's just me and somebody would have to join my game in order to actually enjoy this. Um, yeah, I'm actually disappointed because I thought there was going to be like, you know, little servers hosted to display. Like in multiplayer, they were like, check out the Fusion 200 VR sample to see how to blah, 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 you know, like boasting about their new services. But I thought there would be like a a server that was there that was always in. Oh my God, bro, what is that? The hitches, I mean, there's like some very bad hitches there. Uh, that happens in Unreal too, but I mean, like I said, they're boasting 200 players. If that happens with me just by myself, imagine 200 fucking people in this goddamn, in this game, holy moly. Okay, we found us another loot box, let's get, let's get some. Okay, how do I open up the inventory tab? No, that's how I'm getting 90 frames. Not bad. I am on the, um, what is it? The SRP, the URP. So that's not too bad. It looks like that's my client ID or something like that. I don't know what that is. Or that's the ID of the server that I'm hosting. Who knows? Uh, maybe I is for my inventory, B. Um, Control, there's no crouch. So let me just see if we got any key bindings here. Okay, I don't see anything. Let me turn down the music. I, maybe the effects as well. Shit was probably loud, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'm at a loss for words right now because um, I thought this was gonna be more than what it is. Drop weapon, what the? F So yeah, I guess I'm just stuck in this puppy by myself. There's not even bots. Like, let me see. Let's leave the match. Let's see if we can get some disconnected from server. Eat my dick. Boy, that was me. Uh, 
Um, so let me see. Maybe we could play. There's no one playing. All right, let's just check all the servers and see if anybody has a game out there open. If anybody's playing, you know what I mean? Nobody's playing. Hit auto. Maybe I'll hit quick play. No games bad, no bad requests. So I guess I'm stuck creating a game. Could I pick bots? So we can pick, we can pick different maps. This has 200 players max. Um, let's do battle royale. And, but we can't select whether or not there's bots to like test the load of the game. So that's kind of trash. How, how would you ever test? How do they fucking know that? that they can handle 200 people on the server. How do they, do they have 200 people working for them that all played this shit? Where are they now? So starting a network connection seems, well, that doesn't seem too bad. Actually, that makes sense. Plus 30 seconds. Okay. Oh, okay, that's just the timer that uh, before the game starts. So I'm dropping. Oh, this is pretty cool. The graphics don't look too bad. I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. I'm going to keep it real with y'all for this being a, a Unity game. The graphics do not look bad at all. Okay, so I'm in here by myself again. No bots. Bots would be great. Bots would be fucking awesome. But there's no bots. There's no sprint. There's a lot of just hitches there. I, I hope you guys can see this. Ooh, a sniper. Yeah, you feel me? But there ain't nobody to shoot, so. I don't know, man. I just, that's disappointing. Ugh. Okay. You can tell that uh, that movement, that character movement controller is super stiff. Not even a little bit of floatiness when I'm holding down the space. We just... You know what I'm saying? It sounds like I'm reaming this, but I really do um, look at things critically. You know what I mean? Why wouldn't I? Okay, so the ring is reducing. There is a map there. Can I like zoom into the map by pressing M? Nope. Okay, what? Why didn't they like, okay, Q switches weapons for some reason. I don't know why Q switches weapons. And holding F will drop the weapon. We got... I'm trying to press all the buttons. Oh, sh what? Are you kidding me? I could fly? Oh, they got jetpacks. You can just use it. But look at my arms now. <laughs> oh, shit. That's, that's actually fire. I fuck with that. They going crazy on that. Uh, broke my leg. Why is there fall damage if there's a jetpack? Give me some boosters or something, or at least just a, uh, oh, come on, come on. You should, the jetpack should also boost you up before you use it. You shouldn't just be jetpacking like this on the ground, getting yourself killed out there. There goes another hitch. This is actually not bad, but I would love to see. Okay, let's leave this match. And then let me see if we can look at some code here. I don't even know what my source editor is. Let's go preferences. Let me stop this. So I think I could say source uh, rider. I think by default rider is my source editor, but I want to open up some of these classes and see what's going on in here. Where are they? So we got prefabs, presets. Let's just look at the the agent. Agent base. Let's look at the soldier. And this is a network object. Ooh, Unity. I like this. I I'm I'm digging this right here. This uh did they do this? Is this something that they did specifically? It's like a button here that you click. Oh, and it sends you to a link. Oh my god, this that's pretty dope. That is actually pretty dope. State authority indicates who has the right to change network property in server mode, host mode. Okay, shared mode. That's not bad. I want I want to do more with this though. Like I want to play with other people and see how the server actually handles a load. 
So is spawnable. Let me look at this class. Um, um, let me see. Edit script. Is this going to open up Rider or is it going to open up Visual Studio Code? Okay, Rider it is, my baby. If you don't have Rider, get Rider, man. Pretty much edit anything you want inside of this damn thing. Scripts, here we go. Scripts, agents. Let's look at the agent.cs and see what we got here. So it's a context behavior. I don't know what that is. Is local agent input the character? Can I control click this to look at it? So context simulation behavior. What are these new behavior types? I'm really trying to look at the so default FOV, aim FOV, FOV change of speed. Um, I hate how C Sharp does their variables. I've always used camel, uh, camel case. Uh, I'm not seeing much that's like blowing me away, mainly because I was trying to test the the multiplayer to see what was happening. But definitely, I'm going to go ahead and end the video because I'm not going to look through the Unity code. I haven't coded in C Sharp in probably like two years. But definitely check this out if you're a Unity developer or if you're an Unreal developer that's on the fence. Uh, this might give a little bit of insight on how to build a multiplayer game inside of Unity. One of the biggest reasons I switched to Unreal was because there was no straightforward way to build out um, multiplayer stuff. And then all of the ways to do it were, how can I say it, not high quality. So now that they have their own server hosting and they, their own back end system, like they're competing with PlayFab. Like, like I said, they got things like economy, they got um, in game purchases, all types of stuff, man. Like it's it's really cool. Uh, I, I might look into like maybe integrating it into Unreal just to see how it works and maybe doing some tutorials on that. But uh, who, who knows? PlayFab is pretty good. Um, we can look at the pricing, I believe. Like, I think they have like pricing. Uh, so you see, they got multiplayer accounts, they got lobby, netcode from game objects. This is more of the peer to peer stuff, same with the relay. And then I guess that fusion, the, the fusion is what's supposed to be like the, the server authoritative style of uh, online or uh, multiplayer coding. See, they got this economy where you can create your own um, items that you can sell in game. This cloud code is similar. It's like something similar to uh, Azure functions or cloud script or uh, with AWS, I forget what they call them. Um, but yeah, serverless functions pretty much. But yeah, they're, that's a big step for Unity. I'm not going to lie. It's a uh, it's good to see them doing this because you know what this is going to do for us. Uni uh, uh, I'll say Unity developers. You know what this is going to do for us Unreal developers. Epic is going to have to follow up. You know what I mean? Epic released um, Unreal Engine 5 with high fidelity, crazy graphics, crazy optimization with high-end objects. And then Unity released a, a, a better version of HDRP. Now Unity is releasing this back-end hosting and now hopefully uh, uh, the guys over there at Epic is like, okay, we got to do something better than that. Let's try to get into that uh, uh, that market and start, you know, bringing in those people. Because I would love to host all of my services in one place. Like if I didn't have to go to PlayFab to do backend stuff, I could just do it with Epic. You got me fucked up. I'm about to go to Epic because that, that keeps my environment in, in the same, you know, in the same habitat. But yeah, I'm going to stop spieling here, man. Check this out. I'm going to leave links in the description of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.